In the great gender adventure, where nature explores all options, this creature is a shining light. The male seahorse. Few animal species on planet Earth boast males talented enough to fall pregnant and give birth. I think male seahorses are the champions of fatherhood in the animal world. When you look around, nothing beats a male seahorse. This just makes me so happy. Seahorses make me just thrilled. Courtship begins the old-fashioned way. Both genders hanging out, holding hands, and hitting the dance floor. I mean, here they go out, they go dinner, they go dancing, they do this incredibly elaborate courtship dance, they're rubbing bellies, everything's great, it's a wonderful evening, and at the end of the evening, he's the one that got pregnant. I love it. Oh, if only it would be that way. After a little horseplay, the female sends her eggs dad's way via a tube-like ovipositor. The male has a pouch that looks like a pregnant uterus, and he stores the eggs in that pouch. He fertilizes the eggs just before they go in the pouch, and he makes sure they go in his pouch, so he's certain of his paternity. Now responsible for 1,500 or more eggs, it's all up to Mr. Mom. Sure, Mom drops by every morning to check up on progress, but Dad is now in charge, even when contractions set in. Then he's seized by powerful cramps. He could spend up to 12, 15 hours going through writhing, horrible contractions. I mean, it doesn't look like anything pleasurable at all. It's what I went through, I understand. So, I mean, not that I'd trust men to have children, but it sure would be nice to have them just go through labor once or twice. I like that idea. Got a great deal of appeal. Let's hear it for the seahorse. The male gives one final push, expelling the last of a tiny, fully formed fry. They are released from his pouch, little tiny baby seahorses, and swim away. Exhausted, Dad's job is done, and these tiny babies are now left to fend for themselves. <laughs>